Marriage is desirable. Marriage is sacred. Marriage is divinely ordained. Marriage should be regarded as an oath taken in the presence of God to be treasured like pillars of God. Love is the only reason why two should be bonded for life. Love is the ingredient that spices the soup of understanding. Marriage without love is doomed ab initio because it is built on a shaky foundation that cannot stand the stress of incomprehensible forces in life. While I conceal to the importance of material demands, a heart full of love will conquer all challenges and will also accommodate the inadequacies of one's partner. Son, you must learn to cherish and respect your wife. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. So your joy, success, and breakthrough in business is embedded in what you give to your wife. For God so loved the world that he gave. Make your wife happy and your joy will not just be full, it will be overflowing. So, apologize to your wife for in your infidelity and do it right now and here. My darling wife, I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. Please, forgive me. I promise to be a better man.
Yeah, uh, <coughs> um, Rizla. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot, I don't smoke. Oh, I don't smoke. Ah. Are you for real? Are you being serious? No, you're just being dramatic. Okay, can you just calm down? I was only just looking at her. You were staring at that lady. I was looking. You were staring. I said I was looking. You were staring. There's a difference between staring What's and looking. What's the difference? What's the difference? You stared with... I was looking at her behind. That's that's it. Mark, do you even realize you're married? Do you realize you're a married man for goodness sake? Okay, first of all, she was the only person there. Alright? And I was staring at her. That's it. You can't deny it, Mark. You know her. You know that lady. What, what the hell is wrong with you, Mark? What the hell does she have that I don't have, Mark? I mean, look at me. What does she have that I don't have? What? Mark is in breast. I mean, look at me. Mark, look at me. Look at me. What, what does she have that I don't have? Babe, she was standing right in front of us. Okay? I couldn't look left or right. I just had to look at her. So you admit you looked at her behind? Mark. Mark, I have to stay in constant fear that my husband might be out there sleeping with another woman. Babe, this is a marriage, not a prison. You think so? You think so? You don't respect our marital vows. You don't. You were looking. You know how. You can't lie. You can't deny it. Okay, you, can you, you relax? Relax. I should relax. When my husband was literally looking at someone else before me, I should relax. You know, sometimes I wonder how I got myself into this mess Mom, of... Mom, Dad. Oh. <clears throat> baby. <sighs> baby, how are you? You okay? Mom and Dad were just talking. Yeah, we're oh, just weren't we? We were, we're talking. <laughs> you okay? I'm hungry. You're oh. hungry? You want Mama to make food for you? Yes. What do you want to eat? Noodles or rice? Noodles. Noodles then. Okay. I'm coming, okay? Okay, you do that. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. Uh, Junior, are you not going to give daddy a hug? Let's go, baby. Okay? <laughs> baby. I bought goodies! One more year. Let's go. This way. All I do is to see you smiling. Don't I deserve much more than this? But you give, you keep hurting me. Don't touch me with those cheating hands of yours. Baby, I'm sorry. Why? Why do you make me regret my decision to marry you? I'm trying. I'm trying, my love. I'm trying to be a better man. Mark, that was what you said the last time. The time before that time and the time before the last time, that was what you said. You always say you want to be a better man. I want actions, not words. I am sick and tired of trying to make this marriage work. I am tired. 
Show me. Mark, show me. Show me you mean it. Show me you want to be a better man. I am tired. Love. My wife. I know I've said I'm sorry too many times. And words will fail me to express how sorry I am. But this time around, I, I mean it. It hurts me so much to cause you so much pain. It hurts me that I am the one to break your heart. It hurts me that I make you cry when I'm supposed to be the one to wipe it. Please. I know how difficult it is. But find a place in your heart. The heart that once loved me. To forgive me and love me again. Don't I deserve much more than this? But you give. You keep hurting me, everything, and every time, all I do is to see you smiling. Promise me you will be a better man, yes. I promise. Don't I deserve much more from you, but you keep, you keep I love you. I love you, baby. And I love you too. With every fiber of my being. I love you. Yes, baby. Hey, baby. Come, come, come. No need for the face. Just come. What's happening? It smells good. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought you said we're doing takeouts. Well, I only said that because I didn't want you to bother. Besides, I wanted to make us breakfast. <laughs> this looks good. <laughs> you should eat. I think you're running late. Yeah. Okay. Better rest. <laughs> um, baby, yes. about Junior. Oh, don't worry about him. I will pick him up from school after. Are you sure? Yes. You know your busy schedule. Babe, I'll make time. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Hmm. Tastes good. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. This looks good. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I might be a bit late today as well. Why? Because I need to stop by the grocery store. For? I'm buying things for dinner and making dinner. You're making dinner? Yes. Who are you? And what did you do with my husband? <laughs> well, this is Mac 2.0. Mm. 
the husband who wakes up every morning, thanking God for giving me a beautiful wife, an amazing black queen. <laughs> Baby, stop. I'll be home late too. I want to go to Zelda's place and then from there we're going to Abikia's house for our birthday party. Mm. So if you allow me, I'll be home very late. Wifey? Mm -hmm. Yes, hubby. So exactly what time do you think you'll be back home? Let's say 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Too early. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> or are you no. going to miss me? <clears throat> of course I'll miss you. 11 p.m. <laughs> is perfect. Okay, baby. Yes, baby. Oh, uh, something... One. Just hold on, hold One. on. Wait, wait. <laughs> I know what you do. No, I, baby, no, I know what you're you, you don't know. I know, no, 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 you're, you're wait, tricking wait, me, baby. Wait, you're wait. going to ruin my, my face. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you're not going to bribe me. Now you know I think I need more water. <laughs> Alright. Just, just the kiss. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, please, can you turn? I, I think I forgot something at home. Yeah, please.
Maybe daddy is just busy with work. We're not leaving him. But where we're going, we're going to have lots of fun. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to buy you ice cream once we get there. Yay. <laughs> Are you happy? Yes. Okay. I think mine is. Hello? Hello, Margaret. Please, did you drop the key? Yes, we're coming. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm going to be fine. Okay. So Papa also was saying, we're going to have lots of fun. <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay, Papa, let's go. Mom. Yes, baby. We have been here since yesterday. Is this where we're going to stay? Yes. This is my cousin's place, Auntie Millicent. 
Where is she? She's abroad. But for now, this is our home. Okay? Okay, okay mom. Okay, baby, let's go. Hold this. Okay, okay go, 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 go. Go! Where is Mrs. Faith Omuka? She's here to report in, sir. This is the second time this week she's reporting late. And you know, an attitude like that attracts sanctions. The messy type. I'm very sure she has a reason for running in late. Are you trying to justify Mrs. Omuka's lack of commitment and, and disregard for company policy? Of course not, sir. I, I won't do that. I mean, if we all have good reasons to come to work late on a daily basis, we'll not have a company to run. Yeah. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, sir. Just, just, just look at yourself. Disorganized, ridiculously dressed, wretched, and above all, scruffy. If not that you came highly recommended, I would have demoted you to a janitor. You don't understand the basics. I'm here! No, no, sir. I mean, we just have a certain number of hours in a day to work. Let's not waste it on unnecessary grammar. You'll be working late hours today. Why, sir? There are documents to sign. There are files to read and memorize. Sir, please. I need to pick up my son from school. I can't afford to be late. There are presentations to prepare for. Mrs. Fate, I mean, you have limited hours of the day, so I suggest you spend it working instead of complaining unnecessarily. Sir, please don't do this to me. I just did. And if you disobey me, I will sack you for insubordination and anasentism. <clears throat> Please. Oh. Sir. Over manager. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry for laughing, honestly. Honestly, you don't have to be surprised. Like, why is Mr. Amen on your matter like a beast to an honey? Are you surprised? Or maybe he's just angry because I've not let him into my honey pot. <laughs> but honestly, girl, like, let's be real. Why have you been coming late to work? What is the problem? Boo, I've just been juggling a lot of things. Coupled with Junior's schedule. I'm just tired. Everything is just so hectic. Carol, I understand your situation. But you would have to find a way to ease up things. How? How? I mean, look at today. I planned picking my son immediately after work. And this man is saying that I need to work over time. So how do I... <sighs> hmm. Junior school is at uh, Queens and Kings Standard School, right? Yes. Okay, fine. You know what? I will ensure to help you go pick him up from school and then I'll take him to my house. So when you're done with work with Mr. Amen, then you can come pick him up from my house. Really? So how about that? Thank you. <sighs> Oh, God. Boo, you don't know what you've done for me. I've done nothing. What are friends for? Come on. Come up it. <laughs> don't mind this, man. Honestly, you have to find a way to ease up all of this tension. You could just maybe get a nanny or look into day school. Okay. Like, that would really help you. I'll look into that. So, Mr. Amen doesn't suck you one day. It no. would be nice. <laughs> you should just pray that I don't get under your own school. So you're not leaving here in this office with who? <laughs> what is this? Do we pay you to gist and gossip? Um, no, sir. We don't get back to work. Yes, yes sir. Nonsense.
Good evening, sir. Good evening, Faith. You like Woko? Excuse me. You asked me to stay behind and do two weeks' worth of work or be fired for insubordination. You know, if you were playing your balls right around there, you would have made cool manager instead of all this shakara you're doing. Everybody has gone home. It's just you and I left. Trust me, no one, absolutely, no one will hear you more. Mr. Ime, I'm going to pretend we never had this conversation because of the respect I have for you and your brother that helped me to secure this job. But don't you ever lay your filthy hands on me again. Why are you acting like Mary, Mother of Christ? Come on, we're both adults. Just, Just once! Amen. I would like you to leave me to my work. Or I'll be the one reporting you for soliciting sex from a co worker. Rubbish. Make sure they are ready before conference. Hello? Sorry, my car just broke down and the traffic here is so terrible. I can't make it to Geneva. No, no, it's, it's past five now. Maybe you can just find a way to reach the school. I don't know. I'm really sorry. It's fine, I'll go pick him up. What about working late and Mr. Yemen's threat? I'll handle it. So is there anything I can do to help? I mean, right now. Nothing, just, just try and get home. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Don't I deserve much more than this? But you give, you keep hurting me. Hi baby, how are you? Fine. Good evening, Mr. Ben. Good evening, Good evening madam. Uh, you late. I am sorry. I had a lot on my table. Uh, no Thank you so much for being there for my son. Uh, it's fine. Thank you. No Alright, okay. you will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow then. Okay. Hi, Bobo. How was good today? Are you sure? Let's go. Z. Yes. Okay. 
promised to buy chocolates and biscuits. We'll never eat again. Oh my gosh, Junior, come here. Come here, come here, come, 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 come. I'm so sorry that I forgot. But I promise you, I'm gonna get you a truckload of chocolates. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Big boy. Why did you bring Junior to the office? I know. This was good. This I had no choice to bring him. And then you chose to bring him here. Oh, what if Mr. Yemen gets to see him? Where would I take him to? Good morning, sir. And whose child is this? Um, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. He's my son. You can't be serious. No, I'm serious. He's my son. You know, I was coming to yell at you for not completing the assignment I gave you yesterday. But here's the universe giving me the platform to make your life more miserable than it is. Um, sir, it's actually the two of us. I had nowhere else to keep him. That's why I brought him here. There are schools for this. No, no, he actually goes to school. Just that, um, today is an off day, so... I will not tolerate this. It is either you find a magical wand and get rid of your son, or you stay off work today. And mind you, absenteeism attracts sanctions, which I will gladly deduct from your paycheck. Get rid of him. Girl, have you seen what you've caused for yourself? Because I've always told you to get a nanny, but you never listened to me. Now you just see. You know what? I'm done for today. Done for today? Hey, girl, you can't be serious, right? This uh, week yeah. alone, you've had a lot of, you've had several cuts on your salary. Do this again, and then you'll be left to just change for salary. Or you think it's true? I don't care. I don't care. Papa, so today, mom is not going to be working. Hmm? We have all day to ourselves. Okay, mommy. <laughs> you like that, right? Yeah. Let's go. What about my chocolate on this? Junior, come here. Don't worry. Huh? I would make sure I bring it to the house. I'll get the chocolate and I'll get it over to the house. Okay. Be a good boy, all right? Okay, Papa, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Are you really doing this? My dear, does it look like I'm not doing it? Move. Have fun at work. <laughs> My love, I'll see you, okay? Let's go, baby.
Then go back to their papa and their mama house. Yes. In an environment like this, how, how do they survive it? I don't know that one now. Nah. I tell concern me. Yeah. And what do you feed them with? <laughs> no, no, wait, go. This is where they talk. Eh. And I don't ask them that question. See, eh? <laughs> on a small thing. And they feed them with a bonga or real or bad. <laughs> or real or bad. <laughs> Correct one, no? Hey, Oreo, yes. Oreo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. I'm not interested. Uh -uh. Did I come out? It's cheap, oh. No, it's okay. Thank you. Ah, uh -uh, mother, come now. Thank you for our seat. What's up? Thank you again. Excuse Nancy. me. Don't be like that. Nah, -uh. Here they go. Madam, come back here first. What is it? Yeah. See, madam, eh? if you don't bring your picking, give me. You not go for more for here at all. Let me leave leave my clothes. Let me leave you waiting. All the time, where waste me, so make I leave you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, make I see you. See, madam, you go collect, oh. You go collect, oh. What, oh, what, oh. Hey. <laughs> so I ask them. You think, you think I actually find it funny being in this slum, this place that smells like hell? You think I find it funny? Oh, Take your hands off me, my me? friend. Me, the smell. I don't madam, know. come back here. I said you must give me your big. You go collect, oh. What's happening? Madam, you go collect, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is yours. I was just carried away. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh. <sighs> nice. Thank you. Mm. So, how was your day, Kina? What car? How did it go? <laughs> my dear. What my eyes have seen this past few days. Yeah. I can't utter it from my lips. <laughs> it just seems like every every plan is working against me at this point. Are you serious? I'm telling you. So are you trying to tell me now that you didn't see a daycare or what exactly is your point? The good ones are outrageously expensive. The bad ones are run by stark raving lunatics. <sighs> Honestly, if I'm going to continue at this pace, I'm definitely losing my job. Relax, okay? Just take a chill pill. It's not as difficult as you're trying to paint it. You're saying I've, that because you were not there. But at least I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? There's this friend of mine, a neighbor actually. So she has this uh, nanny that normally come to babysit her daughter when she goes to Ghana for vacation. So the thing is, I will try my best to speak to her to come work for you as your own nanny. So they say she's a very good person and she's really good with children. So I'm very sure you love her. So they say. <laughs> Oh, God. What would I have done without you? Come on. I haven't done anything. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Just, just take this as an atonement for not coming to pick up Jimmy the other day. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> so, what about your husband? Have you heard from him? He has not called me. Zelda. What? You know I won't lie to you, right? Of course, yes, yeah. He doesn't love me. He does not care. Since I left, he has not called me. He thinks I can't do without him. I'm gonna be there for you as your friend. I promise. Now, cheer up. Drink up and cheer up, okay? You're a beautiful lady, so oh, don't let Max stress your brain. Drink up, come on. 
drink up. <laughs> Zelda, <laughs> you have no worry in this world. Sometimes I even wish I'm you. Oh, Honestly, at this point. I just feel my throat. I'm not directly anything because for you. Because you're trying to stress me now. I'm not directly anything I for you. I just want only good stories, not bad stories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Positive vibes. Exactly. That's what we're going You get it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Faith. I'm a single mom residing in an apartment building in Aja, Lagos. I work late hours and I'm in dire need of a nanny for my son. Someone sensible that wouldn't ask my son to cook rice and sleep off. Or give my boy weird nicknames. Must be educated good-looking, and above all, well-mannered. Send a DM for more details on the pay and schedule. Samuel Elijah. I live few blocks away from Sango Tede. I work part time at a bakery shop. Due to the nature of my job, I have a lot of free time. So, and again, I spent six years with a single auntie and high level kids. I have experience with kids. I have the time. So why not make some easy money? Plus, madam, no one really has to know that I'm a nanny. Please. Contact me through that number. Yeah. I'll be very happy to take the job. I don't care about the pay. It's easy money, but I'm not taking anything below 100,000. Um, hello? Hello? Good morning. Um, is this Sam? Sam Eleje? Yes, that's me. Sorry, who is this? Um, my name is Faith. I am the 
single mom that is looking for a nanny. Oh my goodness! I got the job. <laughs> no, I've not said that yet. But you called me. It means you're considering giving me the job. Listen, I can cook, clean, feed the baby, even change diapers. I just need extra income. Uh, um, okay. Calm down. I think I need to see you in person first, then after the interview, I'll know if I can trust you with my son. Okay, no problem. So where do you live? How about we see you at um, Boston Bistro? I don't know if you know the place. Whoa, you must be very rich. Isn't that the fancy new place down the street? I don't need to be rich for me to be able to afford a fancy meal. Oh, okay. 11 a.m. I'll be there. Thank you. Kidding. Let's see if there are more applicants. This is good news. This is good news. Yes, good morning. How are you? I am good. Thank you. Um, so you said you work part time at a bakery? Yes, madam. I work with the mixers and sometimes in the oven. It's not really a serious job because the bakery belongs to my uncle. Okay. Now you want to be a nanny, which is another not so serious job. Why? Um, madam, the welfare of your child is of high importance. <laughs> that means impressive. Isn't that the idea of an interview? Me getting to press you and make you like me? Not really that kind of like. I mean, like me enough for the job. You don't come off as a lazy person. Why don't you have a well-paying, stable job? I, I did, ma. I worked with an OIA company as an accountant. Okay, so what happened? Were you fired? I was not fired, ma. I left. You know, the situation with the work, it wasn't so comfortable, so I resigned. Well, I can actually relate to that. The difference is I can't afford to lose my job. If not, I might end up in the streets of Lagos. You don't have to now. We just take care of your job and I take care of your child. I like where this is headed. So you cook? Yes, I can cook anything. Sure. Very sure. Okay. Do you smoke, drink alcohol, or tend to do or say things that are inappropriate before kids? Well. Madam, I am not some perfect. I am a well-cultured man. So tell me, what other thing do you think I should know about you? I am hardworking. Okay. I am trustworthy. I am passionate. I love kids and I take my job seriously.
by the way. Thank you. <laughs> and you look better. <laughs> God, I'm so stressed. I look I'm really so tired. Okay, so who's your friend? Mm -mm. The guy I saw you with, mm -mm. so don't lie. Zelda, don't do that. <laughs> You're always asking questions. <laughs> well, he's the guy I told you about that um, applied through this um, platform that I posted the interview on. For your nanny? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, me, let me get it straight. You mean you went on a fancy date with your nanny today? <laughs> Wait, isn't that like a date already? No. What do you mean, no? You guys just went out on a date. You're saying no. I didn't want a stranger in my house. That's why I asked us to meet at a restaurant. Right. Yes. Don't tell me that guy is the only guy that responded to your ad online. Not exactly. Okay, so <laughs> you want to tell me now that he's the only one who responded, so which means you have to pick him. So now, let, just, let me just get it straight. Why picking the guy in the first place? Why him? Well, I just feel like he looks smart. Then he doesn't come off as someone that will actually sell my property and run off to Cambodia. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm just trying to be picky. Girl, don't pretend. Just tell me that, okay, because you like him because he's hot and, you know, handsome. Like, cool. Let's talk cool. Uh, yes, now, listen, girl, I'm your friend. There's no point pretending with me. There's no point. What is going to be with you? I don't like him, please. Tell yeah. me the truth, girl. I just wanted to conduct an interview. That's all. Girl, you that I'm seeing like this can actually sell off your old mansion and then fly off with this guy to Cambodia. <laughs> Go for me. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. What are you saying? Oh no, oh, please. Mercy. I'm not in for that I don't one. Want to okay, I'm your friend. It's not no, 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 no. This one is different, Zelda. I promise. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. You literally saved my ass. Hello? Hello? Good morning, madam. Madam is still early. I, I know. I just wanted to remind you that I'll be having an important meeting this morning. So please, try and show up on time because if you don't, it's going to be a disaster. I am, I'll, I'll be there as I agreed. So Sam, please. Please, don't disappoint me, please. Okay? Okay. Sam, please, be here on time. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me let me um, have my shower so I can beat traffic. <sighs> the rules of things that you can and can't do in the house. Okay. I want you to take your time to go through it. Please. All right, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. I'm coming. Papa. Everything in 
And every time all I do is to see you smiling. Don't I deserve? All right. Um. Yes, I'll be going with you to junior school. I want to inform the management that you will pick him up if I'm not there. All right, I mean, it's your first time, so just for formality's sake. All right. Okay, good. Please ensure to go through this. Sure. Please, so we don't have a problem. All right, ma'am. Uh, can I yeah, take sure, your sure. school back? Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go back to this. Okay. Uh, let me get that. Junior, it's time for you to take off your uniform. No, I won't. Ah, hey. Listen, the first thing you're supposed to do when you're back from school is to take off your uniform and take a good shower, okay? I mean, if you're on this uniform, it's, it's not hygienic. But I want to watch this show. Yeah, you can watch it later after you have your bath and take off your uniform. Because I wear it all day doesn't mean it's dirty, dummy. <sighs> you don't mean that to you. Jenny, I'm not a dummy. That's what the dummy will say. You know your mom won't be happy seeing you on this uniform when she returns. I'm not my mom. Okay, fine, enough of all this stuff, all right? So you get up, keep this, and take off your uniform. That's what you're supposed to. Are you being serious right now? Don't come and catch me. <laughs> I, I don't want to do this with you. Just come and take off your uniform. Junior. All right, stay there. Okay, don't go anywhere. Go. Come on, take off the uni. Come. Right. Okay, fine. You know what? Can you, can you do like this? Do like this. Just do like this. Come on. Okay, I won't catch you. Just do like this. Do like this. So what what, what do you perceive? Nothing. That's it. That's what you perceive. Come here. Oh, come here. Come here. All right, go inside. What's the problem? Junior is my friend. Junior is my friend. Junior is my friend. Let's go. While right, you're here, your food. What's this? Your lunch. I don't like this lunch. I want chocolate and biscuits. If you want chocolate, who do you think will buy you chocolate and biscuit? My mom says you're my nanny and you give me anything I want. So now I want chocolates and biscuits. Ah. Okay, boy, let's get this straight. 
I see you are troublesome and I don't like it. This was what your mom kept in the microwave for you. And this is what you're going to eat. If you don't want to eat this, get ready to starve. Do you understand that? Wait, no, I didn't mean that way now. No, okay, Jimmy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stop crying, don't cry, don't cry. I'll buy you chocolate. I'll buy you. Can you stop crying? Your mom is just walking right now. Can you just stop crying? It's my first day at work. Your mom is just walking right now. You, can you stop crying? Don't cry. Why did you use my son? No, no, I didn't do anything to him. He just cried. Let me alone. No, no, no. Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop crying now? Can you? Can you stop? Leave my son alone. Much more. I love my son. I might not be wealthy, but I'm not going to let my son cry over something as petty as chocolate. I mean, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? Why would you let my son burn out his eyes over something as little as chocolate? Madam, I, I was just trying... Out of my house. I said leave. Everything... And every time, all I do is to see you smiling. Don't I deserve much more from you? But you keep, Papa. you keep hurting me, walking away from the Give a life a chance for something better. I deserve more, deserve much more than this. Walking over here for the light. Walking away from the pain. Give a life a chance. For something better I deserve more Deserve much more than this Walking over here For the light I don't know, but I just came home and I found my son crying. And when I asked him, he said Junior requested chocolate for lunch. Oh my God. But chocolate isn't a meal. I know. But babe, I don't want my son crying at any slights. Babe, I'm tired. You know what? Don't worry. I'll be at your house first thing tomorrow so I can understand exactly what you're trying to say. I'm feeling very sleepy right okay. now. Good night. Good night, dear. So you think you will go from here? Not from here. You start from here. This one here. They yeah. just yeah. Okay, listen up. Our investors will be coming late due to flight delays. So I would suggest you sit tight till after the presentation. Then you call it a day. 
Thank you for listening. Do we have for goodness sake? Hey, God, oh. Me, I have a, I have an important date today. Let this man not use his own to spoil my own today, oh. You're talking about date. What happens to Junior? Who will pick him up from school? So what are you going to do? I have to talk to him. Sir. What is it this time? Your cousin's elder brother's sister needs a tongue replacement and you want to go home? It's not it, sir. Then what is it? Because the only time you discuss with me is when you want to leave work. I have. I do not have a son. And I don't give a damn about your son. I've told you a million times is either you choose your son or you choose work. Today's meeting is very important and it determines the life and death of this fame. If you in any way screw it up for me, I will find you and I will kill you. So what did he say? He said he's not letting me go. Or else he will murder me. You know he can't possibly do that, right? That's not the point. Point is he's not letting me go. <sighs> if you actually had someone who could pick up Junior from school, I think that would be a lot better. I mean, that was why I wanted Nanny. But what people are just wicked. Um, but you do have a Nanny. Right? Sam. Of course, yes. I slammed the door in his face. You're his boss. I yelled at him. Because you're his boss. Of course you're correct. Come on. Take a chill pill. I, I, I don't want to do it. So what do you want to do? What other options do you have? I don't know. Then call him. Do the needful call him. Are you sure? Girl, pick up your phone and call this person, her bed. What if I come home and find him beating my son? Faith, that's a lot better than Junior being stranded, waiting for you in school, and then he's waiting for his mama, and then his mama is nowhere to be found. Which do you prefer? Okay, that's, that's true. Okay, so call him. I just pray here, please. I'm very sure he's going to agree. Hello? Good afternoon, madam. Um, Sam, please, I really want you to do me a favor. I don't know if you can pick up Junior from school. I'll be late from work. Sure, why not? You will? Yes. Oh my, oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sam. You don't know what you've done for me. Thank you. Um, um the key, the key is with um the neighbor. So you just have to pick it up from the neighbor and um you can you can fix up anything you want from the kitchen. Alright, no problem. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. It's fine. Okay, see you then. Yes! Oh, yeah, <laughs> Give me a high five. Yo! I told you Sam is the best, right? He is. Okay. I'm going to slam the door on his face and he still wants to work for me. You're his boss, of course. Why would he mind? Okay. Oh. 
Sorry, I'm a bit late. Let's go. Where's my mommy? Ah. Mommy is busy, okay? She said me to come and get you. But don't worry. I'll take good care of you. Are you sure? Yes. I am sure. I'll take care of you. But I just want you to promise me something, huh? When we get home, eh? Don't cry. And don't scream. All right? All right. Hmm? Okay, and sure, I'll buy you biscuit and, um, and chocolate on our way. I don't want biscuit and chocolate anymore. I want ice cream. You want ice cream? Yes. Sure, I'll buy you ice cream. I'll buy you vanilla or strawberry, anyone you want, okay? Okay. Yeah, just be a good boy. Okay. Hmm? All right, give me this. Yeah. Give me this one. Okay. So I called a taxi man. I don't know what he's saying. He told me he's far. I'm like, why would I wait for you? Let me, let me just come and get you. So when we go out there, we just enter the taxi and go home. Okay. okay. So how was school today? It was fine. Uh-huh. Hope you learned something. Yes. Whoa, you playing game? Let's see. Woo! Whoa. I don't know, I paused it, sorry. I don't know how to equate it. Is mom not coming home? Mom is still busy at work, okay? And she will come back home when she's done. But it's getting dark already. What if she doesn't come home? I'm here. I'll stay with you till she comes back. What if she gets in trouble? Where is she going to sleep? Okay, now, young man, you are worrying too much. Come. Listen. Mommy is a big lady. Okay? She won't get into trouble. Hmm? She will come back home when she's done with work. I want right? to eat some cereal. Cereal? No, you just had dinner now. Come on, you just had dinner. Uh, Junior, okay, fine. All, all right, all right. We're not doing this, okay? We're not doing this, all right? Okay, I'll get you something. I'll get you something now. Come on, smile. I'll get you something. I'll get you something. All right, fine. Come on, let me carry you. Come on. But you did not tell me I will have to sleep over. I'm so sorry. Trust me, I will make it up to you. Just make sure Junior is fine. Don't feed him junks after dinner and make sure all doors are properly locked. Uh, oh, okay. Why do you sound like that? Did you give him any junk? No, I did not give him any junk. No, I did not. No, I did not. Hello? No, I think the, the network is kind of bad. I Okay, he will speak to you in the morning, okay? All right. Okay. Hey. Why did you not tell me that your mom doesn't allow you to eat junk, popcorn after dinner? Why would I do that? You will refuse to. I will refuse. You know, you know, you know, you're troublesome, huh? You, you are really troublesome, you know that. Is my mom coming tonight? Your mom? No. She's, she's busy with work, so... She may come home tonight. But guess what? I'm staying over with you. So... We are going to go downstairs. We are going to play video games. We are going to chat. We're going to eat all the young kids we can. Do you understand that? Yay! Uh, that's what you like, right? <laughs> so let's go down to the system. Yeah, I was forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. 
Yes. Come on, let's go. Come on. Ah, nah. Energy, energy, like. Go ahead. Ah, come on, give me energy. Right, let's go. Ah, bomb blast. Ah. Woo, let's go. Come on. Yo. Just keep it, just keep it there. Yeah. Careful, so it doesn't pop. Where's your slippers? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Have one now. So you're the new nanny, right? Yes, I... <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, Junior. Yeah, your... Your footwear. Uh, just... Okay, uh, okay, let me take this. Uh. Please take this back. Oh, sure. Mm. Uncle Sam, we're not done! Yeah, I know! So right now, we are going to... Who's that? Carol, you nanny so much. What? Well done. I shall. <sighs> Girl, just admit it, okay? You've got a great, sweet, handsome guy for your nanny. Please. The guy is so fine. See, no matter what you do, he's not getting into your pants. I'm making sure of that. Okay. Mm. Girl, ma. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. My eyes are, on you. are you serious? My eyes are on you. Oh fuck. Damn, Let it end here. In this city room. Hmm? Let it end here. All this drama. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> you see, Z.
Cu vanil. What? I should be asking you. Faith, what is it about me you don't like? I'm co-manager. I'm handsome. I'm also successful. Every woman that works in this fame craves for a night with me. What do you? I offer you an opportunity on a platter of road, but you you just... Because I don't like you. Every woman likes me. Every guy out there wants to be with the women that likes me. But the women, they want to be with me because they like me. Then go be with them. So my son be okay. Sure, he'll be fine. According to the doctor, he'll be discharged this evening. Thank you. You're welcome. Junior. Thank you so much. Uh, Sam. The doctor also said that he he had mad case of poisoning. Food poisoning. Yes. Oh, he said it's fine. Hi. Um, Sam, thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you. Yeah, thank you. It's fine, man. God bless you. Yes, my responsibility. Oh, thank you. Bobo, my love. Don't I deserve? Much more than this, but you keep, you keep hurting me. Thank you. Yeah. You good? Um, Sam, I'll just order cab for you. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. What is the Um, baby, baby, Uncle Sam needs to go. Let him stay, he's my friend. I can postpone whatever I have to do tonight and stay with you guys. That is, if you don't mind. It's okay, I don't mind. So I'm not booking the cab then. 
Okay. Good man. I'm here with you, okay? Okay. Alright. How are you feeling now? Dizzy. Dizzy. Don't worry, okay? When you have your bath now, you feel better. Okay. Alright? And when you feel better, we play games. We play Fighting Tiger, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you wanna play that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we play that and we eat Yeah. Actually, a funny guy. <laughs> it's, really? <laughs> it's awkward that you're single. Ah, uh, well, no one wants to be stringed up. Besides, um, I mean, I'm in Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So tell me, why are you a single mom? My husband. And he, he threw you out? Mark was actually a nice guy. He is still a nice guy. After we got married, he, he changed so much. He would cheat on me at every slight opportunity. Not just that, he was so bad at covering his tracks. And whenever I ask him, he would gaslight me into thinking, that it was my fault for his own misconduct. So I left. So you left? I left. For my own peace of mind. You know, my wife left too. It's not like it's not like I cheated. He just wanted to be the next big city star. She told me that I was holding her dreams down. So where is she now? She works as a cashier at the mall. Cashier at the mall? Yeah. What's her talent? <laughs> What's her talent? Well, she's, she's a ballet dancer. Ballet dancer? Yeah. In this country where Afrobeat is dominant. <laughs> 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 I thought you were saying that wasn't me. Right? Are you serious? People, people, people have crazy dreams or something. Come this on. has to be one of the crazy dreams, please. Ballet dancer. <laughs> <sighs> that would have been so hard on you, right? Not actually. You know. <sighs> While I was living with her. She would walk up to me and say, Hey, I want to open a restaurant. And I would help support. The next time she would come and say, She wants to open a spa. 
the first one doesn't work again. And I feel like, okay, I'll support her, give her some money. Then she'll come back again and say, no, that the spa doesn't work again, that she wants to wants to invest in transportation. She wants to open a transport company. And I'll be like, what's all this thing? I'll still support. And she'll come back and say that she doesn't want to do any of those things anymore. And she, she said she wants to go into music. She's just crazy. Do you, do you know that she tried indigenous rap? She said she wanted to become the next Fino. I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh that's God. not true. You exaggerated, right? No, I'm serious. Are you serious? Yes. For real? Yeah, she, 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 she had like one track or something. I, still, I took her to the studio. I paid for the studio section. I did everything. Then... You got to be kidding me. <sighs> that's a lot. You know, she, she likes... <laughs> Course, and that was our biggest issue. Well, there is no perfect relationship or marriage. But when we find ourselves in situations that we feel like we can't handle, the best is to leave. <laughs> it's better to leave than to endure some bunch of crap. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So, cheers to living toxic relationships. <laughs> As I was thinking, what if some other time we can just, you know, do like a puzzle and, and stuff like the game you were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well. That would be nice, though, though, then. And then you keep asking me about my work. My boss is horrible. My boss. What should I describe my boss with again? What's uh, the adjective? Uh, Devil's incarnate. Uh, it's it's terrible. Yo, strong man, come on, give it to me. Energy, energy. Nah, nah, energy, come on. Ah, let's go. Bomb blast. <laughs> come here, my boy. So, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling better. Feeling better? Sure. Okay, so. Finish. Oh, you're here. Ah, yeah. You know, felt a bit dizzy, so I told him to have shower. And now, it feels better, right? Yes, mom, I feel better. Are you sure? Let me feel it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. It's nothing. So, Aunt, you don't really need this anyways because you start sweating. So I brought this out for him to wear. I don't know. Is, is it nice? It's okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you start with the top. Oh, God. Hurt. Okay, so your hand. This one first. There you go. No, no. Wait, uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Stand. Okay, fine. So, it's time for the shot, so please. Excuse us. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. Are you serious? <laughs> Let us be fine, like. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just fix something. Okay. Well done. Thank you.
I like your uncle. Tell me, why do you like me? Because you do everything for me. You take me to school. You help me with my assignment. You play with me. You wash my clothes. You bait me. But my dad does not do that for me. He only took me to school four times. No, three. Oh, no, two. <laughs> okay, that's... What are you discussing with my son? Uh, oh, we are just... What are you discussing with an eight-year-old boy? Nothing, really. We are just... Now having... leave my room. I said leave! Oh, okay. Papa, my love, you know better not to discuss our little family secrets with strangers. But Uncle Sam is not a stranger. Plus, I told him the truth. Dad doesn't even know I exist. My love. You are mommy's baby, right? Yes. And you will listen to whatever I say. Yes, mommy. Listen, don't discuss our family secrets with strangers. Okay, mommy. Promise? Promise. Okay, you're my baby. I'm really sorry for whatever you're facing right now. But I think it's time you made peace with your the situation. Listen. The greatest healer of all times is time. Whatever it is, just give yourself time. Everything, everything will be all right. I cannot leave you here all alone, okay? Let me take you inside, all right? Stand up. Okay. 
sorry. Whoa. Tomorrow is Father's Day. Is that not coming over? Uh, Adam. I can go for him. That is if it's okay with you.
Um, yeah, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. can call me Faith. Just drop the formality. Okay. Uh, I didn't know you were coming to my house. Well, I decided to come and say thank you for what you did for me the last time. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nothing. It's something. I mean, if you didn't help me, I don't know what would have. I was actually thinking if we could do lunch. But that is if you're game. Right now? Yeah. Right now. Except if you're busy. I, no, no, I, I, I'm, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm free. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just freshen up and, you know, dress up. Sure. Okay. Uh, I... <laughs> oh, probably right, wait. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, no, I'm, here, I'm, so I'm good. I'm good. I'll just stand. Um, you can sit. No, and it's okay. I'm fine. Uh, I'll just stand. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. That's too much. Okay.
something about that guy. Hmm. Honestly, I feel like the guy is just so handsome. He's super caring and he's good with Julio. Honestly, I feel that means it. Since he came into your life, like he's brought you so much joy and peace. I just feel like you guys are meant for each other. I feel that means it. You think so? Yeah. I mean, what if he changes when we get into a relationship? Yeah, you like him, right? Don't you? Yes. Then just give it a try. Stop judging him. No one is perfect. If he works, fine. Then if he doesn't work, still fine. There's no harm in trying, remember. If it doesn't work, that means I've lost a good nanny and a friend money can't buy. That's not the reason why you should at least just make it work. Give it a try. Okay? But you know I'm not divorced yet, right? Yes, I do know that. But your peace comes first. Sam is a great guy. I don't know the reason you keep doing this. Why do you like Sam is a great guy? Take down your sugar pad and make it work between you two. He's a good guy, come on. What is this? Yes, auntie. Okay. Don't laugh to me because I'm going to start talking. My dear, you know see as I face. You don't want troubles. for you all my life. I literally helped you expand your business across the country. Ghana, Maldives, Senegal, name it. So, I'm not blaming you for anything. And I'm not saying that you don't deserve the proceeds of your hard work. But the thing is, you are not the man I raised. You have allowed lost, destroy your home. And you are ready to see me and your mother leave this world without setting our eyes on our only grandchild. Wait a minute there. You were sounding like I, I was the one who asked fate to leave the house. Like I asked fate and her son my son. I didn't send them out of the house. They left on their own accord. If, let's say I did it. Yes, let's say I did it. Dad, that, that still does not prompt this kind of wickedness, Dad. Mark, I'm not being wicked to you. Since you cannot allow fate under your roof, I too will not allow you to have the inheritance. Yes, I'd rather give it to the orphanage. What have I done? What is that offense I have committed to make you hate me so much? Sit. That, that, that you know, 
how I have planned my life, my future. And none of this is possible without my inheritance. Don't, you know about this. I know it and you, you know it, Dad. You know it. Sam, if you want that future, if you desire that future, then do the right thing. Everything and every time all I do is to see you smiling. I'm listening, so why do you want to see me? Zelda, you know I've never asked you for anything before. But I need you to help me now. I need to speak with Faith. Desperately. Faith left me with no trace whatsoever. I don't know where to find her. Excuse you? Did you put Faith under my care? As a matter of fact, you know where to find her. You know her office, right? So go locate her and find her there and don't disturb me. I wish it was that simple, Zelda. I've been to her office twice. Two times. She, she didn't even give me a listening ear. You don't understand. But if I can figure out where she stays, I, I, could, I, I, I could at least go see her there and, you know, in a space where she's more comfortable and we could talk about this. Mr. Mack. Yes? One thing you should know is that even if I know where Faith stays, I would never tell you, okay? So do have a great day and do not disturb me ever again. Thank you. Don't I deserve much more Zelda. than this but you give you keep hurting me everything <laughs> Maybe you like gossip at this point mm -mm. Just tell me you don't like it you don't enjoy the way I give it. I do. Just I mean, why are we friends? <laughs> <laughs> you like Honestly, it up my mood. I, I just feel like jo jo Jojo made a very big mistake, to be honest. Let's be real. You think so? Yes, he did. You know, you shouldn't have married that girl at all. You remember that small girl now that you dated the other time? The one that almost committed suicide. Sandra. Because he got. God Sandra. Be God bless you. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, that's fine. <sighs> Girl, you two will make such a perfect match. Hey, what's that? What's what? What's that? Pretend like you don't like this person. I what, don't understand. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> okay. Uh, the table is set. Okay. Food is served. Oh, the food is ready. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Now it's time to eat. Enjoy. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sam, dear. Yeah. One second, please. Faye told me you rented a, a shop. Yeah, I... I want to open a restaurant. Really? Wow, that's... That's nice. Thank you. I mean, you need to see the way he cooks. Okay. 
very tasty. I mean, you need to taste that. That's one of his menu. Okay. You like? Mm-hmm. Mm. I know. Thank you. <laughs> wow. That is so nice. Really? Mm. Thank you. I just like the fact that there's no much, you know, it's the, the spice is not too much, it's not little, it's just it's just well perfect. This is delicious. Sammy, since you're gonna teach me how to make this because mm. Mm -hmm. really? you have to pay us. Like honestly, like, how do you even learn to do this? Like for <laughs> a <poor> guy. <laughs> I grew up with my mom and she owned a local booker in our nature. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my gosh. So I got some recipe from her. And plus the fact that I watched some TV shows, so I got some recipe there too. Oh, don't we all? <laughs> Especially <laughs> Honestly, you. I have to Honestly, now I have so many reasons why I have to come to my friend every evening. Sure, come on, be your guest. I'm free, right? You said yeah, be whose guest. Please, You're definitely going to pay me. <laughs> how much? Zel Okay. How Let's much? Spend. How much is money? Uh, <laughs> thank you. It's okay. Thank Thanks, you. Sam. Well done. This is so delicious. How fun, mm, I love this. I know. Apple. Really so tasty. Mm. So you were hungry all this while. I'm hungry. Eh? And you could not say anything. What would I say? I can let him eat first. Then we'll gossip later. Yeah. You have vlog your Sam is around. Who will cook for you, me? For we? Oh! I'm so happy to be here this evening. What's that face for? You don't lie. You're welcome, babe. My fave. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think someone is at the door. Papa, check the door for me, please. So, the whole thing, like, at some point, I just felt like, you know, I should just conclude on it. No, but it's not, it's not that you know, I take my time when it comes to making decisions. Oh, How did you find me? I missed my wife and my son. You have not answered my question. What are you doing in my house? Fade, I'm here to see you, my wife, and Junior, my son. Papa. Go to your homework. Okay? Okay, so I'm gonna take you inside, okay? So we can go be together. The little time we spent apart has taught me a lot. So many valuable lessons. I hurt you. And I've been bad to you. And what manner of man would I be if I did not own up to my mistakes? That is why I'm here. To apologize. To make amends. I really wish things could go back as they were, as they should be. See through me, cut me open. I bleed. I just want you back as my wife. And if you accept, I, I promise I'll be a better man. I am a better man already. I, I'll, I'll, I'll take Junior to school. 
I would never find another woman attractive. I'll pay the bills. You don't, you don't have to work a single day in your life. Please. Babe, I'm changed. For real. Please. Forgive me. Come back to me. Come back home. You betrayed me. You made a joke of our vows. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Faith, I love you. And I've tried to live without you, but I can't. Nothing on the surface of this earth makes sense without you. Nothing. I love you too much. I can't lose you. I can't. Please. Mark, I know you. You're such a good liar. And what makes you think you can actually walk into my house and I accept you with open arms? If you've not noticed, I'm changed too. I don't need you. I don't. But how about Junior? He does. You, you saw the way he, he said, Dad is here. He needs me. What kind of life do you want to subject him to? To live without a father figure? I can fix that. He needs his father. A real father. A man that he can look on. God forbid it that my son looks up to you. You know, someday in the future, I hope you remember and you reflect on the fact that you tore your family apart. That's it. Leave my house. Mark, I said leave my house. Leave. Hello, ma. My daughter, please. I beg you with everything you hold dear, please forgive my son. Give him the last chance. I know he's a changed man. Everything and every time all I do To see you smiling, don't I deserve much more than this? But you give, you keep hurting me. Max mom called me yesterday night and he started this morning. So? Mm. 
in as much as I hate to say this, but you know I'm still married to my husband, right? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. But my son needs his father. It is what I think. It is. You, you never loved me, right? You were just using me to waste time while you were waiting for him to return to you and tell you his tales by moonlight, right? Why, why, why were you pretending all along? Why did you lure me into falling in love with you? Tell me, why? What are you watching? A 
It is way past your bedtime. You should go to bed. Uncle Sam lets me stay up this late to watch movies. Who the hell is Uncle Sam? I am your father and over here I make the rules. What you do is that you follow them. Do you understand me? Oh, go to bed, go and sleep. Young man, did I stutter? Come and stand up and get out of this place. I said, come on, go to bed. No sense. That's how your mother spoiled you. Come on, go, go. Go to bed. Stupid boy acting like his mother. Didn't even shut the door. Bad manners. What is he even watching? Everything and every time. All I do is to see you smiling. You don't I deserve much more than this? But you keep, you keep hurting me. I really missed my wife. Come on. Listen, Mark. You really need to give me some time. We've been through a lot lately. What are you saying? I... I can't touch my wife anymore. The feelings I had for you died the day I left this house. I need some time to reconnect. Baby, breakfast will soon be ready. You just have to exercise little patience. Breakfast will soon be ready. At what time? Is breakfast not supposed to be ready by now? Why are you making a mountain out of a molehill? Um, besides, it's not like you help me with any chores in the house. What are your hands made for? What has come over you? You never used to be this lazy. You never used to be like this, not until you left my house to that slum that I picked you back from. I see where you got all of that nonchalant and lackadaisical behaviors from. So me asking you to assist me with chores is now disrespect? Yes, it is disrespect. Now listen to me, Fate. I am the man of this house. And I decide when I walk or when I eat breakfast. Get out of my way. Did I say anything? Mm -hmm. 
Francesca. <laughs> Sometimes you talk like you don't know me. I'm a man of my words. No problem. I just want you to come with your friend. It is me. Money's not a problem, okay? So you just send your account details and make sure you bring your friend. All right? Mr. Money, you know the waste time. <laughs> exactly. You know how I like it, right? And she has to have a big backside. <laughs> exactly. All right. Love you too. Mwah. My mom. So, so you now throw kisses over the phone at your mom. Let me see your call log. Show me. For what? Since when did I become subject to you in this house? So you're trying to tell me that I cannot have peace in my own home without being questioned? No, tell me. Is that what you're trying to say? I just want to check. See, check what? You, you said you're on phone with your mom. Let me see your call log. Prove it to me. No, you should force me and take the phone out of my pocket. No, now you listen to me. Don't you ever in your bloody freaking life ask to see my call logs again. Am I understood? My daughter, mm -hmm. I want you to see this family as your core. Mm -hmm. When things go wrong, you come to us mm -hmm. and we sort it out for you. Yes. Look at that smile on your face. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, my Mommy, daughter. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, ma. So where is my grandson? I'm, I'm, he should be inside. Where is he? Junior. 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 Yes, mommy. <laughs> Look at my boy. Look at my boy. Mm. Wow. Look how grown you are. You are too grown. Look how big he is. Sit down. Sit down. Wow. How are you? Yes. Son. Son. Look at the joy across the room. That is why, for every man. His family comes first. Um, Mom, hmm? Dad, I was thinking, do you guys want anything? Anything. Anything? Yes. I know what to think. I'm coming. <laughs> How? My beautiful daughter in law. Smile, smile. <laughs> As you can see, Dad, I have done my part. And now is the best time for you to call your lawyers to fix my inheritance problem. Because I will not go through all of the stress to bring that good-for-nothing woman back into my house without getting any profit. It is sad, son. Very sad. That you agreed to fix your broken marriage. Your broken home because of mere inheritance is sad. It is quite disappointing, Dad. 
that you would withhold my inheritance because of a woman and a child. That is the same school of thought that has subjected ignorant men to a life of poverty because they believe that having children is far more valuable than having physical wealth. Is that your thinking? Is that what you call a future? Look at his son. Look at him. You see that look on his face. That is your future. Protect it. Don't I deserve much more than this? But you give. You keep hurting me. Everything and every time, all I do is to see you smiling. Don't I deserve much more from you? So it was all about your inheritance. It was all about what you would earn from your dad. So that is your good evening. Welcome, my husband. Answer me, Mark. You wanted me back because of my son. He is my son! Mine! Okay? Oh. Now you have the guts to talk to me like that because I picked you up from that slum. A place that was not even worthy for me to step my foot in. I don't blame you. Nonsense. Watch the dirty girl like you and now you feel like you can run your mouth and talk to me, huh? Oh, bring it on. Oh, oh. Dad. Oh, <laughs> baby. Wait. I'm so sorry. Come I on. see. Oh, so now you brought... Ah! Junior! 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 Ju Leave my son! It's Leave my, my son! son. Don't, don't touch my son! Junior! Don't touch my son! Junior! Junior! Junior. Let, me, let me get Mark. the car keys. Mark! Let's go, let's go, Mark, let's go. don't join me! Jesus! Junior! Your son needs blood. And I've run tests on you both. You are A, positive. Well, your wife here is O, positive. There is a problem here. Your son is O negative. Meaning that he can only receive blood from a donor whose blood group is also O negative. And there is also a bigger problem here. I found out that his genotype is SS. While you, the father, is AA. And you, the mother, is AS. <coughs> this is really medically impossible. Well, um, first things first, we have to save the little boy's life first. I know someone who is O negative. I will have to put a call across to know if he will be willing to assist.
Sam. Yes. Mark, you want me to sleep with your wife? I don't understand. How? Don't worry about the details. She will be drugged and unconscious. The room will be dark. He will wear a max, and she will wear a max. Now, Sam, do you want the job or not? Sir. Yeah. Sorry, um, I want to say thank you for yesterday. <laughs> it was unfortunate I didn't have time to discuss with you yesterday because of the nature of my job. Well, that's fine. I mean, you know my man now, mm -hmm. so <laughs> it's something I can just do for you. Honestly, anyone. it's rare seeing someone who will be willing to assist. Come on now, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I saw a real situation in that little boy's case. Yeah. His father's genotype is AA. The mom is AS. Why the boy's genotype is SS? Hmm. SS. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand this. Right? How can the father be AA and the mom, AS, and the boy is SS. I mean, it's, it's impossible now. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, you tell me, it, you're the doctor here. Yeah. It's, it's medically impossible, for all I know. Uh -uh. But the boy is okay, Sha. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's that's, now, yeah. that's what's important, anyways. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I didn't even get to meet the boy's parents. I don't even know who they are. But that's not necessary. Yeah. It's not necessary. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I'm still wondering, I'm still curious. Who are the parents of this boy? Well, uh, I was with the father uh, a few minutes ago downstairs. The, the fair man you were standing with beside your car? Yeah, that was the father. Sam, are you okay? Yeah.
so unbelievable. Mark impotent. How? Mark paid Sam to sleep with you in your unconscious state? In a dark room with mask on? How does it stand to gain? Why, why is the heart of man so wicked? I can't believe this. This is... This is... This is just so... I never knew you were the one. Trust me, I never knew you were drugged. I did not know. Tell me to sleep with you. And I, I had to. It was because I was I was broke. Please. Find it in your heart to forgive me. I am sorry. Fifth, I worked for you sincerely. With my whole heart. And I fell in love with you.
I'll make sure that both of you pay the price for this. I've never been so much proud of you. I'm honestly so sorry about everything. You know, everything just feels more like a dream to me. But it's so sad, it's, it's, it's not a dream. I love the decision you took. Mark deserves every form of punishment that he's getting. I just don't get why Mark was so, just so evil to have set up his own wife with another man because he's impotent. No one deserves to go through this. In this case, I would just have to say that Mac is a very cruel, wicked, impassive monster. So however you're feeling or however you choose to behave, honestly, I won't even judge you. And in this case, to be very honest, I won't even, I won't even fault Sam so much. Yes, he did, he did bad. Yes, he was very mean, but like he said, he had no idea about everything. He had no single idea. Mark was the one who masterminded everything. You heard what he said, you, of course, he had no idea, babe. Mark has all the blame to me because he's your husband. He shouldn't have done what he did. If he's impotent, it's none of his, it's none of your business. Why didn't he just come out straight to you and tell you, okay, baby, I'm impotent and, but he had none, because of course he doesn't care about your feelings. Thankfully, Sam is out there paying for what he did. But to me, in my own honesty, I just feel like you should forgive Sam. Not because he's perfect, but in this situation, he's innocent. I'm your friend and of course you know I wish you all the best and I want your happiness. Ever since Sam has been into your life, all I could see was so much radiation, joy, happiness, Junior happiness, because Junior has taken Sam to be like his second dad. Oh, thankfully, he's his own real biological father. Okay, well, your happiness means so much to me. I'm not trying to force this on you. I'm not trying to tell you what to do because you have your own mind of your own. But I'm your friend, and in your own quiet time, when you're lying down in your bed, please do think about this. Think about everything that I've said. Think about Junior's happiness. Think about your own happiness. Faith, please think about this. Please. Everything and every time all I do is to see you smiling. Don't I deserve much more than this? But you give, you keep hurting me. 
everything. She wants a divorce. I'll be on my way now. Talking to mom. Mom, where's Uncle Sam? Is Uncle Sam not coming again? When you are ready to marry, I will know. I want you to vacate my Olodo premises and hand over the keys to my lawyer. From today, you cease to be managing director of my group of companies. And I want you to pack out of the only the premises and hand over all the cars in your possession to the company pool. I got a wind that your wife is asking for divorce. And I want to inform you and register my interest to give her 100% support so that she can be free and independent. I totally agree with your father. Yes. Because your attitude and lifestyle is incompatible with the tenets of Christianity. And we are so ashamed of what you've become. Yes. Excuse me.
Mestinha. Ué, Nelly, como estás? Estás, 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 estás. Ah, cabia. So, give it to me. Come on. Energy. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna find like less energy now, but strong energy. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, man, you missed it. Serious now. The last time. The last time. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> One blast. Again. Give me two bomb blasts. Two. All right. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. Bomb blast. Again. Let's go. <laughs> talk to you about something. Okay, I'm listening. I I wanted to discuss with you about your dad. Mom, wait, don't you? Papa, I want to talk to you about Uncle Sam, your dad. Uncle Sam, my dad? Yes. Does it mean I have two dads? Um... Oh, now I get it. That is dad number one and this is dad number two. Um, Papa, on the contrary, Uncle Sam is dad number one. Why the other one is dad number two? Yay! I like it like that. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Uh... <sighs> Junior, you know, you've always told me that you want to go and play football in a professional stadium. Yes. So, your mom and I, we planning to go for a little vacation and we take you to a big stadium. Yeah! Ah, you like it, huh? <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, give me, give me, give me energy, come on. Ah, no, 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 give me energy, give me energy, come on. Ah, 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 bomb blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Everything and every time. All I do 
Just to see you smiling Don't touch Jesus Much more than this But you keep You keep hurting me Everything And every time All I do To see you smiling, don't I deserve much more from you? But you keep, you keep hurting me. Something better